Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff, if you're new here, and today we're continuing our Believer runs. Believer plus Allowed is the requested run, and we're also just going to start with an SMG. What do we get? Um, a gnome. And no, no, this doesn't really work for what we're trying to do. All right, so we need to get something that's like range damage adjacent. Well, I think we found, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Um, maybe this is doable. So basically, here's what's happening with Believer. You start with a tier three and tier four item. Um, those items get put on your tag list. So you're more likely to find those in the shop and items have enhanced effects in the sense that uh, positive effects are better and negative effects are a lot worse. And then loud is more damage, more enemies, extra hard, uh, lose three harvesting at the end of the wave normal. So we're just like with the ricochet and alien baby. I hate alien baby if you've seen my tier list for this game i have it in absolute trash i think it's a, a good way to just lose every run however however ricochet is insane um especially with smg also i don't remember if i rated ricochet now that i'm thinking about it it's definitely like an a or s tier item um i'm gonna take i kind of want harvesting i'm gonna take luck here luck's pretty good at the start ugly tooth is strong um, but we just need weapons early. I'm tempted to not do full SMGs and revolver. I kind of think that's smart. I I found the more I've played this build, I think my voice cracked there. That was weird. I found that the more I played uh, with like full SMGs, um, ever since revolver released, if you throw like one revolver in it. Feels good. Um, it just like it, it's good against bigger enemies, and it's very strong when it's active. And SMGs cover the time when it's not active. Do we take? I don't think we care about acid right now. Or maybe we just dump dodge this whole time. That's acceptable. And take harvesting. I normally don't worry about it too much on loud. Uh, early on, I like to take it because it's like for value sake, three range damage, but we lose 12 luck. Oh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to let that one be for now, I guess. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Scarecrow seems pretty good. Yeah, items being more effective and less effective really changes the value of everything. Um. Alien Baby is a weird one. I don't... I don't love it. I don't love enemies being faster, but having Ricochet to start with is... Uh, ideal? I would say. Uh, Boxing Glove... No, see, the problem with Boxing Glove and Ricochet is sometimes you can Ricochet enemies back to you. Uh, Life Steal is pretty good. We have... But yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm just going to take Scarecrow, whatever. We got that luck, but it's doomed. Target. I'm kind of off that. Now we need to lost stuff and fix our luck. Okay. Okay. A penny. Yeah, we're dumping dodge this run, so that makes sense. Scope. That's pretty decent, I think. Uh, actually, 17% for three range damage is much worse than... <laughs> Much worse than Scarecrow. Because now that I think about it, I don't know if I've done a ranged Believer run. Which is weird. Um, I didn't really want, like, 3 Revolver, 3 SMG. But it's just kind of... It's what's popped up. I think... I think if you want to optimally play Rotato... Sometimes you can't just go all one weapon if the shop just decides not to give it to you. And splitting between two that already have the same tag and they serve similar purposes is not the end of the world. Uh, um, Alright, I'll take the Ugly Tooth for free. I think we should just be taking damage. And... Max HP? It's the best value. Alright, let's combine by this SMG. 
Oh, that's that's pretty good, I would say. I would say that was a fair little. That's, that's, that's just a sniper gun. What's regular sniper gun? I don't know. I don't know if that's really where we're at right now. I guess cactus is good. Gentle alien SMG are all seem seem fantastic. I'm gonna take this weird ghost and try not to die. Um, <laughs> we have a little bit of life steal, and we attack very quickly. So there's that. Uh, I do worry that we're extremely slow, but I think I think this is gonna end up being ridiculous if we can get past our usual, you know, get to wave 10, 11, and then we'll probably be okay. And generally speaking, once you pass wave 9, if you're not feeling okay, that's a bad sign. Because you get so much income. Yeah, we just need more damage. SMG is, like, probably the best weapon in the game, so there's that too. At least in vanilla game. I'm gonna take more lifesteal. Dodge? No. Um... Range damage or percent damage? I mean, I'm gonna take percent damage, I guess. I don't know. I'm not gonna do the math. I could, and probably would have been better too, but I'm not going to. What an alien worm? I don't like the negative two consumable healing. That's a lot. I don't know. I think we're gonna be like unethically strong here in a very short amount of time. Like, the thing is, having Ricochet kind of alleviates the problem of SMG, where you're not so great at crowd control. So... <laughs> all of our negatives are kind of just like, eh, whatever, we're fine. I feel like the fly enemies were put in strictly to counter SMG. I wouldn't mind a different... Okay, let's take speed so we can move the dice gun. Small magazine. I like it. It's, it's fine. We'll pick up some more damage somewhere. I'm taking acid because we're just... That's what we're doing. Warrior Helmet's interesting. Four armor and is a lot. Twelve movement speed is also a lot. I don't know. I'm just gonna not block any of those things. Yeah, we definitely need to find damage up because our damage is suffering a bit right now. But that's, you know, it's the nature of the beast. We're not tagged for damage up, we're tagged for range up, so I need to keep that in mind too. So it's going to be harder to find damage up stats in the shop. So damage up on level up, I think is the strategy here. I don't know. Uh, at some point, we're going to see a minigun or some absolutely ridiculous ranged weapon to equip and we're gonna we're gonna run over everything but until we get there uh let's roll we can we could do range damage here it's like basically free it's also crit chance mm. i'm just gonna take the range damage uh we could do better nine percent speed is a lot Okay. Okay. This is this is pretty decent. Let's combine this and then combine this and buy this purple revolver. I don't hate that. Uh, rocket launch launcher is tempting, but I think we're fine here. Again, negative damage is still awkward, but we'll we'll figure it out. I. I Assume. Uh, well, I mean, the Loud is like one of the best characters in the game too, so I would just suspect that 
this is the type of run that will end up being a lot easier than some of the other Believer runs. Once we, you know, got to a usable, uh, uh, a viable starting set of items. It's the only downside of Believers that sometimes, you know, the combo is just... It doesn't work, especially if you like want to play a range build, which this was, you know, part of the request was to play a range build, so that's why we're playing range. But, um, yeah, if it gives you like a melee tag, you can't effectively play range at all. Um, 7% crit is fine. Friendly alien, I don't want less enemies. That seems like a bad strategy. I probably should have taken the the leech oh okay uh well both helmets melee damage so we don't care about that i guess we combine these well we're definitely taking the scarecrow and i can't take insanity here because we need percent damage all right all right these things are good rifling's also quite good yeah that's fine all right this should be fine we're doing enough here We don't really have any economy items, so we're kind of just relying on the sheer fact that there's an enormous amount of enemies. You know, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, an item that has piercing either. That would be kind of neat. I feel like that would be helpful. Hey, do you guys know if there is currently a working mod, a campus isn't working, that reduces the, what's the word here? That reduces the tag weight system of the game. I remember there used to be one, but I don't, I haven't used it in a long time and I don't even remember how effective it was. And I only asked that because it might be good on some of these, uh, some of these runs where we, you know, aren't forced into certain things. I'm just going to take the 15 lock there. That's fine. All right. Revolver, rifling. Let me know in the comments. It, it would be very helpful. Three range damage, 15 harvesting. I mean, it, it seems fine. An SMG. We only have zero armor, so that's not great. Uh, That's a... That's a common nuke launcher. Not really great though. Rifling's fine. Um, We're doing okay. Our damage is still bad. Our armor's also bad. We have a ton of HP though. But yeah, I'd be curious if we could just turn off tags so then as everything is in the shop. I think it'd make for some really interesting runs, especially with Believer. I don't know. And hey, while you're commenting on that, don't forget to like and subscribe and YouTube stuff for the channel as it's growing pretty quickly now and I really appreciate it and all that stuff. You know, it's... We're gonna hit 2,000 uh, subscribers soon and it took like, I don't know eight months to get the first thousand and we're gonna do the other one in like three or something so pretty freaking sweet i gotta say so thank you everyone who's been here the whole time and thank you everyone who's been watching recently much appreciated we should have picked up more materials there but i was talking um crit chance damage yeah that's all good um death protection i mean Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It might be helpful. Take improved tools. It's hard to go wrong with that. This revolver can be... Well, now we're on two SMGs, four revolvers, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, a uh, grenade launcher? A grenade launcher, huh? Tactical explosive. Nah. 
Nah. I think Dark, Dark Altar does kill us, so let's not with that. I'm not going to raise enemy speed anymore. Okay. That's fine. We're slowly getting out of this percent damage hole. We're really just like one good tier 4 item away. Bloody Hand or something like that. To breaking free, but... A focus? A fo focus would be so good. Like 45% damage for, I don't know, 10% like attack speed or something. The downside is I don't think we can take like another ricochet. Just because of the percent damage. So if that shows up, we're going to have to pass it. It's going to feel really bad. Oh, I guess a bandana would also be insane. Kind of. I don't know. It's a lot of damage down again, which is kind of our downside right now. Um, 10 harvesting is interesting. But we have luck, so let's just, yeah, that's better. Oh, there's a minigun. That was part of the request. Okay, well, like minigun. I'm going to take the speed down too. Four armor puts us in a spot where I feel a lot safer. Oh, hey, there's a common minigun. Okay, what if we do this and this? Blood leech. Do we want... I don't really care about our harvesting. I feel like this is good. All right. Let the bullets fly. You know, this run kind of has me wanting to try Believer Renegade. And I feel like that would be fun. As Renegade is one of the ridiculous characters of the game. Also, I haven't played it much with a lot of the modded. But, I mean, I guess I have played it quite a bit, but I haven't played it with Exitonian stuff, so I'd be interested if, you know, multi shot on grenade launcher sounds kind of sick. If I'm being honest. Uh, we're, we're. I don't know. We're getting pressed a little bit here. I guess we are a little bulky, so we can move around a little more than I'm doing. I'm not... We don't have to go hitless here. We just have no AoE clear. I don't know. Let's see what we find. Uh, range damage? Probably. Pierce damage? Plus 22%. I mean... Yeah... Yeah, let's take it. Non-gate. Probably want that. Shredder? I mean, a purple shredder seems fine. Let's sell this and buy this. And then take non-gate since we have the purple shredder now. And then... And then... Oh, there's a rocket launcher. I don't think we necessarily need that. rip and tear um let's save their cycling machine i'm sure this will help a little bit i guess we could look at the damage bar i literally have that over there for a reason i mean it's also for you guys i feel like that's good for content you can see what weapons are doing the most and how effective it is. I think it's a little bit instructive, too. I mean, it's a little biased at times, obviously. Depends on the type of enemies you're fighting and what the build is like, but I think generally it gives you an idea how items compare. Oh my gosh, went to this restaurant today and we experienced something I've literally never experienced before. <laughs> um, but let's do this shop and then I'm going to talk about it. Uh, alloy seems fantastic. A rhinoceros horn? Do I dare? I do. I do dare. 
All right, yeah, I've got a store detail here in a second, but we're gonna we're gonna focus up six range damage. Yeah, don't mind if I do. All right, after the elite's dead. Hello, mother. Um, you're dead. Okay. Wait, did he? Yeah. I didn't get. I didn't hear the sound picking up the box. Anyway, oh, so we went to this restaurant, right? Uh, they looked like they were a little understaffed. It's, it was like a nice, not super nice, but it was like decent restaurant, right? And they seemed like they were understaffed. It was brunch. And they had what looked like to be the manager. He had that aura about him as he was the manager, like helping out us with our checks instead of our waitress, right? Now, I don't know if you've ever been to a restaurant, I assume you have, or something. Or basically anywhere where somebody served you. Well, when they take the checks, there was six of us. You know, they take all the checks and then they bring them all back together, right? Every single time, without fail. I've worked in the service industry, that's just how it works, right? Um, Not today. Not today. Or yesterday, I guess. Um. This guy got all of our cards, right? And when he brought them back, and this is going to upset some people, he brought them back one by one. Like, he took, he took the freaking cards and he would come back to the table, which would mind you is like in a separate room with each individual card and he's like, would like ask the people's like, Jeff, card for Jeff. It's like, all right. And then he would walk away and go back and grab the next one. He did this five times and most of the people, like most of the people at the table had been waiters or waitresses at some time. And we were losing our minds. It was the most inefficient thing I've ever seen. And I don't understand. Like, I, I get, right? You can be a manager at a restaurant without being related, like, involved in the serving stuff. You could be more of a back house type of person. Cool, whatever. You could be a business type of guy. That's also fine. How? It, it's just, it's so inefficient. It made me crazy. I was bothered about it for so long. Um, Do I take small magazine here? I feel like we just need percent damage. Butterfly is obviously good. Uh, meanwhile, with all that, we're absolutely crushing the game. I just had to share because... Because it's like... Dude, what? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, baby with the beard? Okay, run's done. We win. Alright, problems are over. Goodbye, enemies. The weapon mod should show baby with the beard on the side too. I think that would be cool. It's just like getting a seventh weapon. It's such a dumb item. And what, the cost is some range and doesn't even the range doesn't even matter because half the time if you're ranged you're using guns anyway, which gives you bonus range. It's like whatever. Also range is the easier stat to get. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I also think part of the fun of this game is like just having items that are just strictly better than others. Just some dumb overpowered run ending type weapons and I feel like I feel like Babe with the Beard fits right in. I would like 12% damage, thanks. Uh, um No. The coupon? Nah. A minigun, sure. An obliterator? With a bounce? I mean... The question is, what's going away? I think it's an SMG. Uh, yes. Good times, good times. Rifling? What else do we have here? 
That is a red rocket launcher. Huh. I mean, that's better than a shredder, right? Yeah, it's faster, always explodes. Bigger explosion, more damage. Yeah, we just trade them out one for one. Uh, can't afford it though. All right, wave 17. Who do we have? Uh, oh, it's everyone's favorite. I saw there was a mod on the shop that literally just removes crocodile from the game. I thought it was hilarious. I will say I feel bad for anyone who's playing mobile with that guy because I feel like that's he's got to be insanely hard on mobile. I like I haven't played on mobile, but unless you have like one of those controller attachments for your phone or you're running like some Bluetooth controller, I cannot imagine trying to dodge him on the touch screen, especially like sped up. It sounds miserable. Now, as I've said before, like if you once you figure him out, he's actually pretty easy. You just slowly sidestep. Uh, you just have to have enough damage to clear the ads. Otherwise, they'll run you over. But like dodging him is actually extremely easy. If you try to run away from him, he's going to get you. Um, it's kind of funny. that He's a crocodile because I think that's kind of reflected in real life. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to take this, right? Wait, why is enemy health so high? 3% damage for every 1% enemy health you have. Do we have that much enemy health? Is that real? Whatever, <laughs> whatever. We're going to use the dark power. Well, now I think we're just absurdly strong and wait 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 enemy speed and enemy damage raises uh what now attack speed for enemy speed and number of enemies maybe no uh let's take the strange hat because it's a strange hat it's really all the justification i need i guess we'll take a scope really Really don't know what they can do at this point. Give me the scarecrow. I think we just got disgustingly more, more powerful. It's kind of looking like that run where we turned up the enemy speed all the way and now they're like blitzing us, but it doesn't matter. Dark power, huh? I, I know there's a character that starts with it that I haven't played with, too. I'd be interested in trying him out at some point. I feel like it really did all in with Baby with the Beard, though. Like, I... I don't... There's just too much going on. With the Ricochet. It's funny, too, if you look at the damage meter, how Obliterator is, like, so low, but... Like, we know why Obliterator is low. It's because things are dying before it gets to fire. It should... It should prove to be a bit better on... The bosses. Um, we're not going endless. We have too many runs to do, so just, uh... Do it like that. Mouse? I mean, why not? I guess we're taking Iron Helmet. More enemy stuff is fine at this point. Plasma gun, I love you. Blur, why not? Pin? Sure. Stop with the extra stomach. Okay. Okay. This is, all these things are good. We made the enemy stronger again, and they're getting stronger at the end of the wave, but I think it's fine. I think it's... Totally okay. Oh, these set of weapons are ridiculous. Starting with Ricochet is good. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that starting with literally an extra t a bullet would be good? But it was fine because we like we balanced it out with starting with arguably the worst item in the game. 
And I say arguably because I'll argue it, but I know there's other things that are just don't do anything at all. And I guess there's some argument that sometimes maybe you want some movement speed and you're on a ranged character that can doesn't care as much about enemies moving faster. I don't know. Uh, more Pokeball. No. Uh, this is seven armor. Okay. Hey, handcuffs. That was a good time for that. Pumpkin is fine. More damage. We just take more damage. More range. This and this. All right. Give me... A weapon? Bandana? I mean... Sh sure. Sure, why not? Um, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Whatever. Let's just, uh, let's just, let's kill the bosses. You're gonna die. And Obliterator is the top weapon, and it's not particularly close. <laughs> of course. Uh, 16,000 versus, you know. Yeah, this revolver got in 15,000. It's got in 12. This revolvers are so good. Yeah, this was a disgusting run. Oh, we had death protection too. I totally forgot. Starting with Ricochet, even with the damage down being amplified. It just makes all your stuff so good. But yeah, that was Believer Loud. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, we got another suggested run tomorrow. I forget what it is, but it'll be here tomorrow. And we got our first uh, member to the channel. So thanks, Aaron, for that. If, once we start getting more, I'm going to add like a whole list at the end of the at the end of the video. So that's cool. Uh, but anyways, yes. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more and have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.